up, up, up. Elena Hobbick's handstands have come a long way since her life turned upside down last September. Her body just kind of started not wanting to do anything. Tao Hobbick felt helpless watching her five-year-old go from feverish to partial paralysis. She couldn't even lift her neck up or sit up for a long period of time. Uh, I don't know what happened. She isn't the only one. Elena became one of Minnesota's 11 confirmed cases of AFM last year, which stands for acute flaccid myelitis. But doctors and researchers are still trying to pinpoint what triggers the polio-like illness and why some cases are more severe than others. When we first started, we had about 15 degrees of motion to the front and to the side that she could actively do on her own. Dr. Amy Futrell started physical therapy with Elena at Park Nicollet Clinic shortly after she returned to school. At the time, she couldn't lift her right arm and struggled to maintain her balance. When she would walk kind of through large crowds of kids, if someone bumped her, she would just fall over. I still remember the day you told me you were able to carry your lunch tray at school for the first time. That was a really big deal, right? Yeah. Bomb. Though significant, Elena's paralysis was also less there severe. There we go. Orville Young is among several Minnesota kids with AFM who required nerve transfer surgery to regain mobility. But months later, he still can't lift his arm above his shoulder. Oh, I feel really guilty because I know there's so many other families that are going through so much more, but my hope is, you know, obviously as the research continues, they're able to kind of narrow it down. In the meantime, she and Elena are grateful. Because now I can do a lot of stuff. For the progress she's made. By myself. And now, you know, she's she's jumping up and hanging on the trapeze on her own. We do some exercises at home, but they're never the same as what Amy can get her to do. So. Turns out, at this point, she's got plenty of momentum. You're going to get dizzy. My goodness, that was the longest spin we've ever done. <laughs> So great seeing her doing so well. Since the cluster of AFM cases, researchers believe they've identified the, identified the virus that causes it. However, they're still trying to verify it and understand why it causes paralysis in some children, while many others experience nothing more than the symptoms of a common cold. Just a huge mystery that's still going on. Well, it's so scary for parents. And looking at that map that you showed, mm -hmm. it looked like the cases were all over the place, not necessarily in one community. That's right, and none of these kids around Minnesota that they know of had any one common experience between all of them that linked them all together. There's no environmental thing, at least, that's known yeah. that would link them. Oh my goodness, well, more research to be done, but thank goodness the little one's doing well. Thank mm -hmm. you, Kent, appreciate it.